Hey, back again with some more Swiss tools. So uh, th today we're going to look at some stuff from uh, PB Swiss. Um, looked at a few things on this channel before from PB Swiss, uh, and I was impressed with what what I've seen. Uh, some some uh, punches and different things. Uh, so I got a few more items from them to to check them out and uh, kind of uh, put their manufacturing to the test and see what they're about. So uh, let's just get started with the uh, some some bits that they have. Uh, got a nice little selection of bits going on. This is actually PB Swiss's own uh, bit retainer, little rail here. Um, kind of see how that works. They just clip in and out, or they can slide out. Uh, Non-magnetic. Um, I don't know how useful it is. It just keeps them together, I guess, in a drawer. Um, pretty cheap so I threw one in there in the shopping cart so PB Swiss tools uh, let's take a look so first off the uh, Phillips driver this is a zero size odd size let's look at the manufacturing on it One thing about the PB Swiss, their manufacturing seems to be very clean. Um, you can see the the bottom there is not uh, not colored like the rest of it for some reason. Um, I don't know what the coating is. They say plasma coating, plasma coated on their literature, so I'm not really sure what that is. So that's the. Phillips driver. Here's a Phillips number one. You can see the machining there. Quite clean on the machining. Quarter inch hex standard. And last one of this size for the Phillips is a Phillips number two. And you can see it's um, the manufacturing is pretty clean. And uh, let's just test the fitment on a screw. There's a little wood screw. So this is the Phillips number two. Wow, very snug, extremely snug. So. I think dimensionally, PB Swiss has a lot of control over um, how their how their bits turn out because that is that fitment is awesome. Let's try the number one. So it's uh, bottoming out on the point there, but uh, other than that, the engagement still feels nice on that. But with the number two. I mean, really nice fit on that. So that's pretty neat. And it's non magnetized. So that's not magnetic at all, or magnetized. Um, this size here is 50 millimeters. This larger size we'll look at in a second is 95 millimeters. So that's the 50 mil take a look at the longer one there's a the number one again the machining very clean uh, they do state that these are impact rated um, on their website um, they claim that their metallurgy um, makes it so that you don't need uh, specific impact bits um, so we'll see how they uh, how they pan out. Um, I don't have any mileage on these. These are brand new, so kind of a, br a purple hue to the base of this one um, with the gold. This is also a number two Phillips number two PB Swiss. Let's try the fitment on that. So exact same fitment as the shorter one with this 95 millimeter one. 
So very nice. Then we have a small slotted driver. This is hollow ground as you can see, uh, which is really nice feature to have. So you can, uh, it's not a wedge. You have much more, um, much more of a vertical face, you know, interfacing with, with the uh, slotted screw to, when you're turning. Um, definitely less, less uh, chance of a cam out or, um, you know, stripping your, your fastener. So this one's in like a really dark purplish brown to maybe black finish. Very nicely made with this one. I like that a lot. This is for some detailed slotted screw work. And then also went with some, uh, just to test them out, got some Torx bits from them. Uh, some that I use commonly, a T6. So they're T6. If we can get a focus on that. On the tip there. That's pretty hard to focus on. But the uh, the machining on that is excellent, uh, really excellent. I think you can see that. So that's a good job on the machining there. Yeah, they have very clean manufacturing. All these items are um, very nice looking. And you can see the machine work on there. Let's see. So each. Come on, focus. Eh, it's hard to focus on, but uh, you can see each flute there. Very nicely formed. So that's the T10. So I'll put those to use and uh, see how they hold up over time. Um, not sure yet. These are brand new. So. Um, Something else we got is a pick set from PB Swiss. This one also uh, looks like they uh, collab collaborated with uh, DRPD. So uh, I've gotten a few things from them um, a number of times now. So uh, they uh, hooked up with PB Swiss, it looks like, and uh, got a pick set. So let's take a look. Um, I think it's appropriate to use uh, a um, Torgnox. Uh, this one, the Alox um, aluminum scales. I really like those aluminum scales. Kind of makes it feel nicer than the uh, plastic. Recommend for a Father's Day gift or something like that. Okay, let's take a look at the picks. Got the plastic on them. They got it on there good. So this has the, uh, what do they call it? Soft surface, skin friendly and non-slip grip. So this is the PB Swiss, Swiss made, kind of a textured rubberized grip there, some knurling. These are actually individually serialized, which is pretty insane for just some picks. PB7679, there's a 90 degree pick, how sharp is it? Um, not terribly sharp, but it is fairly fine. So their manufacturing is just really clean on these. The knurling is very crisp. These handles, uh, is that a kind of witness mark? Yeah, I think so, from the molding. But they feel nice in the hand. I think that would be useful for uh, if you have a little grease on your hands or oil. So that plastic's really on there, but 
another pick, individually serialized, about the same sharpness, uh, really clean looking. Been very impressed with PB Swiss, just how they how they make their tools. They just um, they're just obviously nicely made. Plastic on there. Yeah, it kind of blows me away that these are <laughs> individually serialized. I mean, that's they're just picks, right? Nice hook one there. That one's actually sharper than the other two. Fairly sharp. It's got some good meat on the curve. Oops. Very crisp knurling. I noticed on their uh, on the punches I have from them that their knurling is just like second to none. Just beautiful knurling. Uh, very crisp. Very clean. Same with these. There's a straight pick. Very nice indeed. And these are actually machined. You can see machined down to a point. Um, so very nice. We'll see how they how they perform over time. Uh, but I'm very pleased with them. Uh, you know, in this channel, I don't always do Japanese tools. Uh, that's the focus, but. Uh, there's wonderful, you know, uh, German tools and American tools and uh, even Swiss tools. So uh, this is PB Swiss, and uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.